Pat Farball with St. Francis head football coach Chris Valerio. Coach Valerio's team is two and one, and they have now won 11 straight home openers. He's won every one since he's been head coach after a 42 to 14 win over Merrimack last weekend. This weekend, it's Columbia University. The Lions come in for their season opener against the Flash. It's a parents weekend game. It's also a celebration of 50 years of Red Flash football, and we will get to that. But first, Chris, the 42-14 win, a little bit of a slow start, uh, but certainly righted the ship, a big drive to take the lead right before the half. Defense pitched a shutout the second mm -hmm. half, and uh, a lot of positives to take away on both sides of the ball from that win against the Warriors. Yeah, you know, Merrimack's a very good football team, and, and uh, you know, they came out and I, I, they stunned us. Uh, they came out and they started quickly offensively. Um, I, I don't know if it was the, 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 the you know, delay that set us back. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, they, you know they went down, they scored. We went out, we sputtered a little bit offensively, uh, went back and forth a little bit here and there. Then the defense came up with some turnovers. At, you know, at, at key times, offense was able to. You know, I think we got 20 points off off, off turnover, so they were able to capitalize on that. And uh, you know, like you said, we got better. Uh, there was a lot of positive things overall as a team. We got better. Um, and, and that's always a good thing to see week in and week out if you're improving. Uh, that's what you hope for as a coach. Okay, let's turn the page to Columbia. They come in. Uh, Ivy League teams, fans, they start later. That is the reason why it is the first game for the Lions. We were talking before we went on air. Again, uh, we have three games under our belt, so we've built some rhythm. Uh, maybe that will help us, but this is a good team coming in on Saturday. Yeah, they're a very good football team. Uh, obviously, they got a Hall of Fame coach uh, heading there, um, and they have had some of the top uh, uh, recruiting classes you know, nationally. Uh, they've been ranked. So this is a very good uh, football uh, program coming in here. They're very disciplined, strong, physical. Uh, they like to impose their will on you. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, and it's the first time they've, they've, they've come here. So, um, you know, uh, it, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, keep improving. Uh, you know, that's something that I talked early in the year about. Uh, people ask me, what do you want to see? We wanna, well, we want to keep improving uh, and, and worry about uh, playing our style of football. And, uh, you know, everything else will take care of itself. Second straight home game. And I mentioned this uh, on the lead in. Uh, to my interview with Chris. This is a celebration this weekend of 50 years of the modern era of Red Flash football. Uh, the program was discontinued following the war years and then brought back in 1969 as a club program. It moved to Division Three after competing at the club level for several years and then in the 90s joined the Northeast Conference and achieved Division One status. And this is a fun weekend. I know that you guys have a job to do and uh, uh, but at the same time, I know you're excited talking to you about welcoming back so many alumni mm -hmm. from way back uh, up to the, the 90s and 2000s. Guys, you coached. Uh, it'll be fun to have a lot of people back this weekend for this celebration. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to hearing some of the stories, meeting some new faces, you know, getting our story out there, telling our side of it, telling the, the, the rich history of this program. Uh, I think this, you know, we really haven't done that. And I think we need to promote this program and, and tell, you know, tell the great stories. There's so many of them out there just with meeting so many of the guys, um, you know, guys going down the portage and pickup trucks and trying to find rides back. Find I mean, rides. I mean, these guys had nothing, you know, these guys had nothing. And, and they, they, the, the pride that they feel in this institution and, 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 and that red flash and wearing that uniform was just, it's just tremendous. So uh, I'm just looking forward to it. And I think it's, it's shows that we're growing and we're moving in the right direction and uh, uh, again I'm very excited to see some of these guys when they come back here uh, uh, Saturday. It's also a reality check sometime when you hear some of these stories about the challenges, how it mm -hmm. turned to mud in November. Uh, I would think it gives you a chance, maybe uh, your players, current players, to appreciate what they have uh, in comparison to mm -hmm. you know some of the challenges that the guys that came before them faced. Yeah, especially when they, you hear the stories about with Art uh, making the guys walk up and down the field in a straight line, and they'd pick rocks up, put them in their helmets, and then dump them at the end of the field. I mean. Uh, you don't realize how fortunate you are to have a, a playing surface like this. Um, and then you hear the stories uh, of guys picking up glass and, and certain things on the field. So, um, you know, that, like, again, them guys did it for the love of the game. And that's what it's all about, the love of the game, getting a great education here at St. Francis and, and playing a game that we all love. And uh, I'm looking forward to it.